Marcus, hey man, Adam here. I just this morning got to listen to your version of the first part of Mas Kenata, and I have just a couple of comments. And I've got my laptop right here, so if my eyes go here, it's because I'm reading my comments to you. Man, the first thing I noticed was I love the groove. I love the groove the way you're playing it. This down-in-the-pocket groove. Don't worry about the tempo being too slow. I like that I'm hearing your sound. And it was kind of, kind of fun to see some of my older fingerings because, yeah, the arrangement changes from time to time. But what I wrote is great groove. And I am doing the chicken. So the chicken is when my head starts to go like this. So that, that says a lot more than what my ears tell me. You know, if I'm doing this, it means I'm really enjoying and connecting with your playing, which I did. Okay, I think you know this, uh, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. The first note, the uh, bum. Hear that top string? Sustaining, oh, still going. So I want you to pay particular attention to that, okay? And then there's only two other things that I noticed, <clears throat> which these are the kinds of things that I practice, and as soon as I hit stop on record, I'm going to start practicing because I'm going on tour tomorrow, and... I'm going to be practicing the exact same thing that I'm going to be telling you. One, like, I want you to keep, as you get more comfortable with the arrangement, try to keep the bass concept strong when the melody is in there. So, for example, I noticed, I wrote down here, keep bass strong when melody enters, like, Bum, 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 bum. So I'll try to show you what I mean. I'm going to play it really slow for you. Watch, and I haven't warmed up, so I'm going to do my best to, to hammer this out for you. Watch the bass. My neighbor is drilling, so. So watch what I did there. I'm really paying attention to the bass when I go. See that stuff? So the whole time, I'm when I work on Mas Kanata and I warm up with it very often, sometimes that's my first groovy warm-up piece uh, of the day. Very often I start shows with it. And my challenge is to boom, 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 boom. Keep my head on that. So just like if you were a drummer going, gong, 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 with the bass, gong, 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 gong. I wouldn't want that to go away when your hands came in. So it'll mean you have to practice that several times and just trust that the melody is there. Don't let that pull your consciousness stay with the, with the bass okay and then the other thing is and this is very tricky on steel string guitar i wrote watch the melody on p i m a sorry the mic is in the way meaning your right hand where you're using all thumb index middle ring p i m a chords so chords like the b7 sharp 9 hear how i'm making the d come out, it's very easy for the other fingers to cloud that top note. You may even want to do thumb and middle on these and just brush whatever's on the inside to give some extra pop to that note. And the same thing for this B7 chord. Where I'm actually experimenting playing that with my middle finger. Sorry. I'm also experimenting with that. It 
messing around with some new right hand fingerings there. Because remember, your job is not to get a, and I'm, I'm not trying to sound stupid or, or arrogant saying this, your job is to not play this chord with a perfect guitar technique. Your job is to make the listener hear that melody. So you need to be listening for that melody. And it sounds really obvious. You, you probably, and you're probably thinking, what are you talking about, Adam? I played it. But what I'm saying is, I closed my eyes and, and I listened like a record producer who knows nothing about guitar. And if I was the record producer, I'd say, I need that melody to be a little bit louder. So it could be that you do it with the exact same technique. And you just listen more for that melody note and then magically it'll it'll translate to your fingers okay but man you are on the total track with this i love i love what you're doing enjoy the journey keep working on this one and i'm sure that you're going to play it on gigs and people are really going to love it okay god bless marcus take care